Welcome, I'm Chris Chase with the Western Flyer Foundation. This is another from the series of stories, shorts, and outtakes from the Western Flyer. In this episode, we hear from Don Coors. Don is the head librarian at the Miller Library at the Hopkins Marine Station here in Monterey, California. And he is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the world of Ed Ricketts. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with Don. I was doing an interview for a larger segment, and this is an outtake from that interview. In this episode, Don tells a story about going on a bit of a treasure hunt. He's looking for a lost book from the Ed Ricketts collection. He wants to read 18 lines of text that are written in the margins of the book from Ed Ricketts. He ends up bumping into John Gregg, the founding director of the Western Flyer Foundation, and he gets an opportunity to dive into the mind of a young Ed Ricketts. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this one. There's a book that we identified as Ed owning when he's in high school. Um, Campfires of Lava, I can't remember the author, but he calls and he surveys um, the um, Southwest, uh, New Mexico area and California. And in, these, in this book, Ed had 18 lines of notes. And we needed to find out what Ed scribbled in those 18 lines of notes. So my project was go find who owns that book. Okay. <laughs> Here I have to go find who bought this book from this reseller. So I drill down into the Wayback Machine to see when this book was sold and who sold it, contacted the, the bookseller, and he told me this guy named John Gregg owns this book. So I know John Gregg. So I say, John Gregg, I need a favor. I need to see the notes in this book. So John is very sharing. He's like, sure, I'll send it to you and um, you can have it as long as you want. And so I have to respond, John, I don't need the whole book. I just want these 18 lines of notes because I was really interested. Because Ed, in all the, in a lot of the books, in a lot of the reprints, he etches notes. And this is his high school years. And so we're like, what are these notes? And sure enough, it's the same type of notes in his high school that he would continue to make in the reprints, the books that are in my library. He has a list of the subspecies of bighorn sheep that are named in the book. So you see Ed on this beam, on this path very early on, and you see this pattern of behavior in him continue throughout his life. And the other thing about Ed, which is really very interesting, his level of meditation, like, you know, like Joe Campbell says, all life is a meditation, right? You're meditating on where your money's going, it's Joe's example, and that's a level of meditation. Well, Ed's meditating on a whole lot of stuff at the same time. So within his notebooks, he'll be writing down species that he finds in their title, and then he'll write a line of Walt Whitman from Leaves of Grass. So Ed's meditating, um, pulling Walt Whitman in to his consciousness the same times he's identifying species and describing the inner tidal um, Queen Charlotte Islands or in Sitka. He, he, 